Easy Tolerance Analysis in Creo 11 introduces many new enhancements that will improve your productivity when working with the tool. The first enhancement is about drafted features that can be used for one-dimensional stack-up analysis. In this example, I need to analyze the gap between the tab on the green plastic part and the light gray one to which it snaps to. Both of those components include drafted surfaces, which can now be included in a stack-up. The two components are assembled to each other using this slab and slot, so I will define those surfaces as the mating features for this stack-up. Once the stack up was created, I can define the objective of the analyzed gap and set it to be larger than 0.01, .01 as well as I will update its attachment to be far near to match the actual condition of the assembly. Beyond that, I know that the worst case condition for the drafted slab is located at the bottom of the light gray part, where its size is the largest, so I will update the stack up accordingly. In the same manner, I will also update the value of the drafted slot dimension to the minimum, as it too becomes the narrowest at the bottom. Now that I'm done with the setup, I can review the remaining contributors to this stack up and choose which adjustments I need to do so this analysis can pass. Creo 11 also introduces new enhancements related to stack up reports. When I reviewed the stack up summary view, I can choose any stack up and add special notes to it, which will also propagate to the stack up report and will allow the data consumer to easier understand each stack up. In addition, when creating the stack up report, users can choose which of the existing stack ups in the model should be included in the report, as well as whether the warning for the 3D effects should be shown.